As we open up the first quarter here, I, I might note that uh, Tennessee won the toss, and actually it turned out just about the way that we wanted it to, because had we won the toss, we would have deferred and wound up kicking off in the same direction to them in, uh, in, in the first place. Here we start off our defense with Emmanuel King making a great sack on the quarterback, Tony Robinson. And uh, our defense played extremely well against a very fine offensive football team. As I mentioned during the week, uh, uh, in preparation, when you look at a few films, their offense looks like a track meet sometime. Here's Don Horstead on, on a toss play over the weak side to lead our series off after a punt. And our offense takes the ball right down the field and, uh, and, and get a field goal uh, on the first possession. Here's a draw play or a little quick hitting play to Paul Carruth up in there. Paul Carruth had another big day. Uh, I don't know exactly how many yards he had, but uh, he was real big there in the, in the second half for us. Did some great running. And uh, Vince Sutton had a good day, I think. Uh, Vince played a smart football game. And here's uh, Greg Richardson, makes uh, two or three catches, uh, one big one just before the half, of course, which we'll see a little bit later. Here's slow motion replay, uh, a little bit of sprint out stuff with, uh, with Vince. We felt like that would help us get away from some of the blitzing and some of the twist stuff that uh, Tennessee had been showing in previous games. We just missed the tight end. <clears throat> And we kick uh, kick a field goal here, Dan Tiffin. Dan Tiffin did a, did a great job of kicking. He missed one, barely missed one uh, uh, there just before the half, but he did a great job of, uh, of kicking the football. Terry Sanders did a great job of kicking off. I think this, is, this might be one where we kick it off. No, we kicked, uh, I think, both teams. Their kicker and our kicker, Terry, exchange. We got great coverage here. Anytime you kick the ball off, and have them bring it out from about two yards in the end zone and tackle them on the eight-yard line. You've done a great job. Here's our defense again. <clears throat> Somebody that we don't mention that often, or, or that I have failed to mention that often, which is, uh, which is very important uh, in a defense, is a, is a nose guard. Kurt Jarvis, I think, had an outstanding game. He's played about as consistent as a winning football player as anybody that we've had all year. But he just had an outstanding game and had uh, had three or four real big plays. Here's a great throw by Vince Sutton, getting it over the linebackers. Here it is again in slow motion for a big third down play to Preston Gothard, and Preston makes a real good catch on the ball. Great concentration right there. <clears throat> There's a great catch here by uh, Billy Getchell, a walk-on receiver, and uh, Vince does a good job of putting it in there, and now we got it down in there in scoring position. Here it is again in slow motion, diving catch, great concentration, and that's what we got to have more of. Uh, here's a draw play to Don Horstead, and he just loses the handle on the ball, just drops the football, and that's the type thing that uh, points there, or, or certainly would have had three, or, or hopefully a touchdown out of it if we don't if we don't turn the ball over to him there. Here's their quarterback <coughs> pulling out to there. One of their wide receivers can't quite hang on. Here's Tony Robinson throwing out. Real heads up play here by Lewis Dean. A corner who is starting in place of injured Vernon Wilkinson. Uh, Vernon missed uh, most of the weeks of uh, practice with a pinched nerve in his neck. But uh, I think probably Lewis played a real good game also. Here's Ricky Moore on a, on a draw play up the middle for some good yardage. Uh, Ricky was. Uh, Little handicap uh, for the game because he missed most of the practice during the week with that hip pointer that he got uh, the week before. So we wind up the first quarter three to nothing. To start the second quarter, we've got a third and two situation, and uh, we, we lose a couple yards on it, but they have a penalty on the field goal try by Van Tiffin here. Uh, they they got an offsides penalty, and this is a this is somewhat a philosophy and a gut feeling and how the game is going on a coach's decision, whether to take points off the board and take the first down and uh, let's try it again uh, type situation. And we elected to take those points off the board, take the first down and see if we could put it in for a touchdown. And uh, on the first play here, uh, Vince Sutton does a real good job hitting Paul Carruth down inside the five yard line with, uh, with this pass uh, down on their sideline. Then the toss play to Paul Carruth and he gets it in for a touchdown. So, uh, since we did get in for a touchdown, it turns out that that decision to take those three points off the board was, was a good decision. That doesn't make it uh, a totally good decision every time, but uh, like I say, that's, a, that's kind of a gut feeling, how the game's going, uh, similar to fourth down situations out around midfield or between the 40-yard lines as to whether you want to go for uh, a fourth and one or a fourth and two type situation. 
<clears throat> but they did a real good job, and Paul Cruz did a real good job running in there. Our defense does a <clears throat> does a real good job most of the entire day. I mean, really, really shutting down one of the most powerful offenses. Uh, great speed offenses, wide receiver Jones, uh, great running back, held him to like 80 or 88 yards. Uh, right here, forces him to punt. This is one where we back up. Greg backs up just a little bit too far. Normally, we wouldn't want to catch it inside the 10-yard line. <clears throat> Here's Doug Allen doing some real good running. Doug ran the ball real well. Probably didn't play him quite as much as we should have yesterday because he was really running the ball extremely well. Uh, he'd been nicked in the last uh, two or three ball games and hadn't played, hadn't played that much. Here's a big third down play by, by their uh, offense, hitting the tight end on a little bow out. Tony Robinson making the play. Here's a real good play by our defense. Uh, Emmanuel King, uh, Cornelius Bennett, Kurt Jarvis in there. Tony back to throw. They're really putting pressure on him. I thought our defense got good pressure. Oh, if we'd been looking for the ball a little bit quicker, Paul Tripoli might have had an interception there, and he knows it. You can see it. Here's a draw play to Jones. And he's a great back. And uh, you let him get through that line of scrimmage, and, uh, and he can go the distance. Here's a little slant pass. We had man coverage on there. And uh, they hit a slant pass to the wide receiver, a little bit of a pick type pattern for the touchdown. I thought overall our, in our kicking game was real good yesterday. We slipped and fall right there, let our knee hit, so they bring it back to where his knee hit. But now <clears throat> offense takes over again. We're going to run the draw play. We fumble the ball and uh, uh, give them the ball on the plus 12 yard line. Something you can't do is turn the ball over in that particular part of the field, especially. But our defense, here's Cornelius Bennett coming through, having a lot of fun, making a great play there for loss. Our defense does a great job here. A great play there by, uh, <coughs> who was that, Freddie Robinson? A uh, great play by Freddie there, but our defense overall does a great job here of, of making them settle for a field goal. Uh, when you give an offense the ball uh, on the plus 12 yard line, I tell you, that's putting the de defense in a real tough spot. But they came through and did a great job of just giving up the a field goal there. Start the next drive off with a draw play to Paul Carruth, picking up some good yards. I can't say enough about that guy, Paul Carruth. Uh, he's a winner. This is just before the half. We come out and hit Greg Richardson down their sideline. Greg does a real good job of running an out and up pattern off the sprint out action. Thought we'd have an opportunity for this, but to think you'd have an opportunity for it uh, uh, just before halftime. <coughs> Uh, in this type of situation, you know, I'm, uh, uh, Greg does a great job of heading for that end zone and getting it in. And we go up 17-10 with, uh, with that touchdown. Then they go on offense. We, we kick it off. They go on offense. First play, their man fumbles the football. Been nice if we could just pick it up and run it in for touchdown here. But we do recover it. We've got a chance. <laughs> We've got a chance to get to either 10 or 14 points within a minute just before the half. Uh, which is a big, uh, a big factor. We kick it a field goal here, and this is the one that uh, Van Tiffen misses uh, just before halftime. Just barely uh, wide left, and we go in at half, 17-10, uh, and we remind them at halftime, hey, we, we were just about this same position last year. As we start the third quarter, we uh, naturally have our choice, and we take the football. Here's a, a little uh, quick hit and play up the middle to Chester Braggs. And we come on a sprint out on the third down situation. We make one first down, and uh, then we come out and miss on the third down situation and have to punt the ball away to them. But uh, we felt like it was important to, uh, to have the ball uh, in the first, uh, uh, the first time out in the second half and give ourselves to, to go down the field. And we've been doing a pretty good job of that thus far this year, but we failed in this, in this case. Our defense goes in, does a great job of stopping their offense and eventually uh, forcing them to punt. Have a drop ball right here uh, on a third down situation and uh, forces, forces them to, to punt the ball back to us. Cornelius Bennett comes very, very close right there. That's just him going on his own, uh, going back there. And uh, he, came, he came very close uh, two or three times uh, on blocking a punt. Then our offense takes the ball back over. We come out on a sprint out. Hit Billy Getchell out here for a nice gain and a first down. Uh, 
Our offense moves the ball real well. We felt like we could run the football on them. Here's Don Horstead on a draw play and breaks it back to the outside for a big 12-yard gain and another first down. Here's a trap play to the backside, uh, to the strong side, to Paul Carruth, and he breaks it to the outside and scores a touchdown, which is a big play in the game for us. A real big play. I think we're going to have this back in, uh, in slow motion. And uh, what happens is their defense, you'll see the trapping guard coming to the right right there. But they just uh, really got all bogged up inside, and Paul did a great job of seeing the outside open and broke it to the outside and uh, got it in for the touchdown, which is a big, uh, big score for us there early in the third quarter. And that brings the score to 24 to 10. <clears throat> Their offense takes the ball back over. <laughs> we got a blitz on there. Uh, Kurt Jarvis does a great job of getting to the quarterback right there on a good rush. And here's another big play, two in a row. Like we mentioned earlier, he had a great game and is playing very, very consistently in every ball game and uh, had some real big plays in the game. That's Cliff Thomas back there getting a good rush on the, on the quarterback before Emmanuel King and uh, a couple of other red jerseys can get to him. Here's another great play by Kurt Jarvis getting a sack on Tony Robinson. The offense takes the ball over. Now, we've run a couple of plays here, and this is a third down play where we fumble it and wind up having to kick the ball to him. Here's a quick screen out there, wide receiver. Vernon Wilkinson comes up, but their tackle does a good job getting out into it, and they have a, have a real good gainer there. That was the first time that they had run that during the course of the game, and it's one of their favorite plays, trying to get a big play upfield. So we wind up the third quarter, 24 to 10. As we start the fourth quarter, they kicking, uh, they're kicking at a field goal here. And get three points, uh, get three points on the board. Uh, for the most part, this is a quarter that, uh, that brings it to 24-13, but for the most part, this quarter is not one that, uh, that I enjoy looking at again. But uh, here's our offense with the football. Toss play out to Paul Carruth. Uh, this is a drive right here that proves to be a, a big drive and would prove to have been a lot bigger if, if we scored a touchdown. Here's a missed, uh, a missed uh, handle uh, on the snap on the field goal. And it's a fire call. It's something we worked uh, in practice every day. And Larry Abney does a great job of getting the ball to uh, Preston Gothard for a first down. And here's some great running by Doug Allen uh, to, to pick up the first down. We're inside the 10-yard line now. Real tough running here again by Doug. Uh, we failed to get it in for a touchdown right here and have to settle for a field goal. And uh, this, is, uh, this proves out to be a, a big, big drive uh, later on because had we put it in for a touchdown here, uh, I think we would have been far enough out that we could have hung on. <clears throat> here they hit the receiver here. They make uh, two or three big plays here now. I think this is the, no, oh, this isn't it. I think it might be the next play where they make the big play right here down to the 19-yard line to their tight end. This is one of the big plays out there at the end of the ball game. This is in their next to last scoring, uh, scoring opportunity. Then the touchdown pass uh, over in the corner of the end zone to the wide receiver there by Tony Robinson. That brings the score to 27-20 now. Now all our offense has to do is keep the ball and make some first downs, and uh, we just don't get the job done right here. In other words, uh, if we take the ball and move it down the field like we did on the last possession, just run the ball and make some first downs, uh, we have it under control. Third down opportunity uh, missed, and we have to kick the ball away to them. And here's the other big play, uh, what most people would probably consider the biggest play of the game. We have two missed tackles there, and their punt returner does a good job. They do a good job of setting up the wall. Have to give them some credit. Uh, tackles finally made by Billy Pierce from behind. But uh, they're, on the, they're on the plus 12 yard, in, yard line and in great field position. And uh, that was uh, uh, undoubtedly a big, big play in the game. This is a third down play here, and their quarterback just keeps it on the rollout. Uh, I thought he had uh, lost the football, but they ruled it down, which is probably a good call. And then uh, Jones goes in the end zone for a score. They've run the option one time before today. This is an option here, and the quarterback just keeps it inside. Uh, for the two-point conversion to put them, uh, put them ahead 28-27. There's still 2.09 left in the game. We still got plenty of time. We just move it down the field about 35, 40 yards and kick a field goal, and we've got a chance to win it. I still think we can win the ball game right here if we just do that. We get hit throwing the ball here just a little bit from the backside. <laughs> we've got the receiver open, and it's uh, going to have the potential to be a big play, but the uh, ball flies after we get hit and then make the interception.
And at this point, they're just running the football naturally, trying to run the clock out. Randy Rockwell making a sack on their quarterback. <coughs> and we get our last opportunity. Right here. We're going to go downfield with it, but that was, uh, that was the last play of the game, I think, because when we started that play, it was like five seconds on the clock, five or six seconds. But like I said, that's a, that's a quarter that uh, is not too pleasant to look at, especially those last four or five minutes. And uh, we wind up on the short end, 28-27.